Welcome back to my channel guys where the stuff I build is not perfect in fact it is barely built right. Today we are working on the slacker we are installing a custom fit snorkel that will hopefully help us get through a little bit deeper water than we have been able to. The kit came from Australia so allow a little bit for shipping. I bought it on eBay you can check the link in the description below. Comes with an inlet head, a molded tube, a piece of flex pipe, and a template for mounting as well as the necessary hardware for installation. Here are the tools I'm going to be using. I've got a hammer, a drill bit, I'm using this uh, Phillips head bit as a punch. I have a 3 inch hole saw, my corded Dewalt power drill, and some sockets and wrenches. first item of business is to cut out and align the template to the body so we know where to cut the hole for the snorkel. The template is perforated, but not enough so that you can cleanly tear it, so we do need to cut it with scissors and install it on the truck. You want to make sure that the Edges are all lined up properly, that's why I have the hood open here so I can line that up with the top of the fender correctly as well as the trailing edge of the fender where it meets the door. Tape everything down. Make sure it is nice and snug to the body with as few air gaps underneath of it as we can get away with. And next I'm going to test fit or at least hold up the snorkel in place just to make sure it's lining up as it's supposed to. Next I'm going to take a straight edge and use the hash marks that are printed on the template to create center lines so that I know where my center holes are and I can punch and drill those out. Here I'm using that Phillips drill bit as a cheap punch. The idea here is to create a tiny little dent that when you put the conical head of the drill bit into, it will fall into the center of that little dent and therefore aligning your hole directly on your center hash marks where you want them. I'm going to start with a small drill bit to create little pilot holes just so that I can make sure I'm centered up before going with a larger drill bit and drilling out these holes to size. Going to remove the template. I'm trying to take the tape off carefully just in case I need to reuse the template for anything. I'm going to come through with the correct size drill bit for the holes necessary to mount the snorkel.
And coming in with my 3 inch hole saw, drilling out the pilot hole in the middle first. And then we're going to drill out the 3 inch hole. This is a little tricky as this is right over a feature line or a bend in the fender. And so you kind of have to do it one side at a time. I kind of rock gently back and forth with the hole saw until I carve out the hole in a nice clean cut. Behind here you can see the plastic airbox extension that is tucked away behind the fender. We need to remove this to make room for our flex pipe for our snorkel. This attaches up at the front to the factory airbox that passes through into the engine bay and at the back with this nut and or with this bolt rather on the back of the fender edge. Going to test fit the main pipe again now that I've got my hole cut and make sure that everything's lining up before we proceed. And here you can see how this mounts up. So there are three uh, threaded studs that thread into these brass zerks on the inside edge of this molded pipe and then those are going to go through the three holes that we drilled earlier now mine was not absolutely dead perfect so i actually ended up only being able to put two of these in and then i had to finish putting the third one in from the back side once the snorkel was installed on the truck here you can see i'm using an allen and i'm going to reach up behind that snorkel up behind the fender and just using feel try and thread this into that final uh, zerk on the top edge of the snorkel. The force? Now the force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. Now that I have it in place, I need to mark the location of the upper mount. I've got it loosely attached in the slotted holes onto the snorkel, and I'm putting it flush against the windshield gasket. I'm gonna mark its location uh, up and down on the A-frame pillar. Now it's time to take the snorkel back off so that we can punch and rivet on the upper bracket.
Once the upper bracket is on, now we can move towards final installation of the main tube. We'll install the top inlet piece. Of course, this does need a band clamp that comes with it. It is black in color to match the tube. Piece of flex pipe makes a pretty nice S shape to go into the snorkel and then into the side of the piece that goes through the inside liner into the engine bay. And once that's on and sealed, the snorkel is pretty much installed. Now, one last item. Yes, our air intake is moved way up higher now that we have installed this. However, the ECU, as you can see with my glove box out, is down here underneath of the dash. And if this gets wet, you are gonna be in a world of trouble and you're probably not gonna make it out of that hole. So we need to seal up that ECU box and I'm gonna show you how to do that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.